Occluded internal carotid artery reopened using carotid stent with distal protection device and mercy thrombectomy device. Michael Horowitz, MD neurosurgeon, Pennsylvania Brain and Spine Institute, Allegheny Health Network, Allegheny. Surgeon and narrator, Michael Horowitz, MD neurosurgeon, case performed at Butler Memorial Hospital, Butler, Pennsylvania. Here we see an arteriogram of the cervical carotid artery showing an occluded internal carotid artery. This patient has presented with a stroke. <clears throat> a wire has been placed across the occluded or blocked artery and a large catheter has now been advanced over that wire. A balloon has been placed to try to open up the artery. That middle mark that you see. A protection device is already is in the position. Starts. The stent is now placed across the occluded segment of the artery and the stent is opened. We now see that the blood vessel has reopened. Once again, a balloon is opened inside the stent itself to open the stent to its maximum diameter. Here we can see the stent being opened by the balloon. The balloon will be removed once we have opened the stent. This is called angioplasty. This is now an angioplasty with stenting. This shows that the vessel once again is occluded, despite the stent being in place. This is usually a sign that there is some clot more distally in the internal carotid artery. Now a Mercy device has been advanced, which is the coiled structure seen in the center of your screen. This will be advanced and will be pulled backwards to try to remove any clot in the vessel that is keeping the vessel closed. We see that we are working through our stent at this point. The stent is seen opened up at the bottom half of the screen. The Mercy device is slowly being pulled back towards the catheter to pull out any clot. Repeat arteriographic runs now show the vessel to be completely open with filling into the brain and blood flowing through the previously occluded vessel.